Hello, my little friends! Welcome back to Aurika's Little Stars. My name is Aurika and today we are going to read a new book together. If you are new here, don't forget to hit subscribe button right there so we can read more books together. Don't forget to hit notifications too, please. Great! Now you are an official little star. The book we are going to read today is... Ta-da! Nook written and illustrated by Sally Ann Garland. If you have his book, go get it! You can read it along with me. Let's get started! Nook, written and illustrated by Sally Ann Garland. Nook was small and gentle, and she readily spoke. She liked to sit in quiet places, with her back pressed Firmly against something so, but she felt safe. She would wedge into corners and squeeze into boxes. She would press against walls and squish tight into big, comfy chairs. So, it was no surprise that her favorite place outside was below deep hollow of an old elm tree. The hollow was perfect. Nook could watch the others play but still feel safe, pressed against the back of a tree. From time to time, the others would try to coax her out. Nook always stayed put but her spirit followed the others when they went back to play. The hollow soon became Nook's place, and the others would know not to sit there. But one day, that changed. What do you think, little start happened? What happened to Nook's place? Who took his place? Let's find out. Mine! An angry face snapped. Go away! Poor Nook. She didn't know what to do. She could feel her panic rise and the hot tears of her silence well up as she stood trembling with nothing at her back to protect her. Suddenly she heard a voice behind her. That's Nook place, the voice said. Yes, Nook needs to sit there, said the other voice. To Nook's surprise, the others were standing right behind her. And now they stepped closer to make her feel safe. It's mine! snapped the angry face once again. But the others simply said, Come on, Nook, you are with us. And Nook, feeling braver, followed them in the middle of the playground. The hollow was empty next day. And next. And next. But Nook chose not to sit there. Instead, she played quietly in the middle with her friends, who she knew had her back. The end. I hope you little stars enjoyed the book. I did. It was a great book. And remember, if you have a favorite book that you'd like me to read to you, or you want me give a shout out to you, go now rikaslittlestar.com and Write a message there. I'd be happy to hear from you. See you next time. Shine bright, little stars. Be good.